There we go. Oh, that's a big fish. Holy crap. Have you ever passed by that river or lake or stream when you're driving down a country road, say in a place that you've lived the entire life, and you just think to yourself, hmm, I wonder what that would be like. Well, I finally did just that. I've lived in the Pacific Northwest my entire life. In this creek over my shoulder, I have driven over this thing, I can't tell you how many times. And I always say to myself, you know what? I'm gonna fish this creek. And finally, today, we're gonna do just that. And I can tell you, the trip's over. I'm just wrapping it up. I got into some challenges in the beginning. It is a tiny creek with lots of overhead hanging trees and brush and there's like mystery holes that you could step in. And I was having a tough time in the beginning. I guess there's uh, some advantages of being tall. Just uh, put my fly in the tree and now I'm going to get it out because I was tall enough to reach the branch. And there's some more stuff in here. And I wasn't sure if there was even any fish in here because I, I didn't see anything and I certainly hadn't got any tugs. Well, another thing that I do often is when I'm walking a, a stream or a river, I just keep going, right? I can't wait to see what's around the corner and what potentially could be up next. Well, I'm glad I did that because I had hooked into one fish but lost it, but then got into a spot it was absolutely gorgeous. Positioned myself perfectly to where there wasn't anything in my back cast. I made the cast and holy smokes, you are not going to believe the size of fish that are in this creek. It is unfreaking believable. I kid you not. I kid you not. It is incredible. You're just going to be absolutely shocked when you see what I saw and just experienced not but an hour ago. All right. Roll it. Good morning. Are you anything like me that if you know you're going fishing the next day, it's just really tough to sleep at night. I was anticipating heading to this creek, something, uh, I live in the Pacific Northwest, I've been driving by this thing my entire life and just never fished it. So I'm excited to see if there's any fish in here. It's cold, it's winter, there's no ice on it, so that's good. And yeah, let's hope we get into fish. All right, everybody, let's go see if we can catch one. Let's do this fish on. So, I've got a couple couple rods with me. I've got uh, my three weight, and I just put on this little kind of uh, it's a leech with it's on a jig hook. You kind of see it's green, little tinsel hair, and I got that on a floating line. And down in the holster, I've got let me grab that for you here. Ooh, hook sharp hook. <laughs> I have got uh, it's like a little uh, you know little crayfish crawfish crayfish crayfish pattern and on an indicator so i'm thinking because it's kind of a you know grassy muddy setting that uh these little critters might be scurrying around and the fish might want to eat it but for now i'm going to start off with the little leech and this thing is uh, a lot clearer than i anticipated i have to be pretty stealthful here One thing I gotta be careful of, I know that just one step I can disappear. Sounds like there's some duck hunters or pheasant hunters. Well, nothing moving yet. Tried a few casts there, might keep on walking up, but I gotta tell you, I am, I'm looking forward to some warmer weather. As much as I love fishing in the winter, eventually it just starts to cut deep, and I've got a new heated jacket, which is freaking awesome, by the way, uh, which helps me keep my body warm, but yeah, it's, it's cold. But not seeing any fish yet, it's kind of a 
pretty good glare on the water so it's hard to see in there but I don't see anybody moving around as of yet but I'll keep poking around and see what I can find kind of nice barbed wire is uh is definitely the waiter's worst enemy so it's kind of nice to have a ladder Have an area to where it's pooled in. Still not seeing any fish. Lots of stuff in my way. Guides are frozen. That certainly doesn't help. Oh, that was a fish. I don't know if you can see it, but I just had a fish just run, take a big run at it. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a big fish. Holy crap. Holy smokes, this fish is huge. Oh no. Oh no, that was a huge fish. Are you kidding me? Oh my God, that thing was massive. Oh, oh no. Oh my God, you guys, that fish was huge. Huge trout. Oh, how do they come off? Barbless hooks. All right, I'm gonna try throwing the indicator set up and see if I have any, uh, any luck. <laughs> oh, all right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna catch one. Let's do this fish on. Okay, so that was the first fish I hooked into. I was thrilled. I mean, it felt big. I had one little tug prior, but then hooked into what seemingly was a pretty sizable fish. I would guess maybe 14, 15 inches. And couldn't, couldn't see it, saw the flash, but it let go. But that told me that there were good things in this creek and potentially great things to come. Well, I did have a couple fish, one big one lost. And another one back. It. I'm just going to uh, see if see what this indicator setup will do. My little my little friend on the end. Cold and fly line. They don't like each other. Oh, that was a takedown. Damn it. Oh. Well, I walked up quite a ways, just looking for some deeper water. Here's that I found some here. Okay, so we're about a half mile down at this particular time and the trees and willow trees are overhanging and there's this really nice spot. And my rod here, my three weight, it's about eight and a half feet long. Now I know why I need a seven and a half foot rod because there just was nowhere to cast. Well, I got myself in position, was doing kind of this back shoulder cast, was able to get the line in there and you're not gonna believe what happened next. Wow, tough cast. There we go. Oh, 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 I had a fish again. Oh, I worked for that one too. Uh, dang it. Okay, so now I've had two fish on. Two fish on and lost them both. Haven't been able to see them. And I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but when I've gotten into fish, I just, I want to get one in the net, right? I want to take a look and see, especially on a place you've never fished, I want to be able to see what is the potential of where I'm fishing. And you can't really do that unless you net one. So now I'm determined, right? So I head further up 
And I'm probably now, gosh, I'm just bushwhacking and trying to find the trail and route find. And, you know, there's these big straight sections that were really shallow. I mean, I could literally just walk right across, but I knew fish wouldn't be holding in that. I needed to find some sort of pool or somewhere where the water would rush in, slow down in, in kind of a deep area. And then, thank God, right, it was just about ready to turn around. And I looked up, saw this spot, and I thought, oh my God, this could be it got myself in position and I'm not just talking one big fish I'm talking two monster fish in this tiny creek you're not gonna believe this this is looking good but I'm already trying to figure out how I'm gonna make the cast not a lot of room here Ugh. Wow, there's just literally no room to cast. So I'm gonna have to uh, figure out a new place. It's pretty shallow right here. Fish seem to be sitting in the deeper holes, but yeah, there's like literally no room at all to get the uh, fly rod out. Wow, tight spaces. Coming up on another pool. usually a good fish holding spot water's nice and oxygenated oxygenated it's always been a tough word for me to say might be good if I can get down into the creek Try not to disturb things too much here. All right. There we go. Oh, stick. <laughs> Shit. Thought that was a fish. There we go. Is that a fish or a stick? It's a stick, jeez. It's amazing how these sticks can feel like fish. There we go, that's a fish. Oh, look at that thing. Oh shit, that thing is huge. Is it gonna come in for me? Is it gonna come in? Come on, baby. Get him the net, yeah! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh, oh my god! Look at this fish! Oh my god! That thing is huge! Oh, oh wow! Look how. Look how tiny this creek is. Oh my God. Look at this specimen. Look at this guy. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. That thing was huge. Look how tiny this creek is. I can't believe that a fish that big is hanging out in here. Oh my God. Oh, I'm so glad I kept going forward. I was thinking about heading back, but I thought, no, you know, <laughs> there might be a better spot just a little further up. 100 yards up, here it is. Oh, wow. Wow. Well, that made it worth it. Holy crap. Uh, let's see if there's another one in here. I can't imagine. That was a big fish. Oh, my heart is still is pounding. Unbelievable. What is... This is crazy. Oh my God, I just don't, you know, I feel like there's gonna be only one that size in 
in this small of a hole. You never know. Oh, I don't know if that was a fish or the ground. I've caught two sticks and a fish. There we go. Oh, that's a big fish. Another flunker. Oh my God. Oh, look at the size of this fish. Wow, it almost looks golden color. What the heck? Are you kidding me? Oh, come on, baby. Stay on, stay on. Oh, yes. Oh my God, look at this fish. Oh, oh. wow. Wow, what a gorgeous fish. Look how yellow it is. I know this, this can't be like a golden trout or something. Holy smokes. I've let this guy go. Beautiful fish. Oh my God. Wow. I am completely speechless. So, you know, I've caught red band before, but I've never caught one that's that yellow. I mean, there's no way, right? There's no way that could be a golden trout. Could it? No way. I think those are super high elevation and I'm not, I'm not in high elevation. I mean, I'm up there a little ways, but not too far. Wow, what a beautiful fish. Two big lunkers out of this hole. Well, it was getting late in the day and after just that absolute thrill, I mean, I, I haven't been that excited in a while and I haven't caught a lot of fish in 2022. So I was, uh, make sure I'm not gonna get run over. I was super happy about catching those fish. I mean, just as you can probably tell, right? I was pretty excited. But now I'm gonna hike back and put this, put a pin in this because I wanna spend some time later on this year exploring this amazing fishery. All right, let's head back. I have, a, I have a problem. It's when I'm walking rivers or creeks like this, I will just keep going because I'm curious on what's behind the other bend and pretty soon I'm two, three, four, five miles down the creek. So I gotta call it and I'm gonna find a kind of an established trail here and I'm gonna walk back to where I started and see if maybe uh, I can catch that fish that I first take, hooked into. All right, I better concentrate on, uh, on where I'm walking. See you back there. So kind of funny, you might remember when I came in here, they were nice enough to put a, uh, a ladder there so we didn't have to climb over the barbed bar fence. Little did I know that <laughs> just, I don't know, four feet to its left, it's completely wide open. Oops. That's a whole lot easier. All right, scratch that. There are two ladders. I didn't notice the second one because I walked around it. This one's legit. You got to climb over it. Otherwise you got barbed wire. <laughs> what an incredible experience. I'm going to have to invest some time in this creek. And hey, if you need a little help with your fly fishing cast, check out this quick tutorial right here. I guarantee you, once you watch this, you'll cast just a little bit better. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you on the next one. All right, everybody, fish on.